Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people from the Android community. I'm Chuki Chen, and today we are chatting with Lian Mamatsuka. Hi, Lian. Where are you based, and what do you do? I am based here in San Francisco. I work on the Periscope for Android app right now.、Uh, before that, I was working on the Fabric platform, and then also on Twitter for Android. Cool. And how did you get started on Android? I got started in Android、um, <laughs> back in 2009, I think. It's Ooh, a really long time. Yeah.、Um, at that time, I was working over at Motorola and working on web services.、Uh, and there was an opening for a client engineer.、Um, the previous client engineer, he was、mm-hmm. going to become a manager, and he's like, "Lian, <laughs> what do you think about doing、uh, mobile development?" I was like, "Well, I've never done it." Yeah. Um, he's like, it's Java, so you're already doing Java, and I was like, okay, well, I definitely want to、um, give it a try. I、right. think part of it was I was building all these web services and enabling the services for our、uh, client apps to run, and wanting to be able to have more of a connection with the product that I was building.、Mm-hmm. And doing、uh, a client app made it feel more tangible. Right. So that's、yeah. how I initially got started, and then.、Um, That was very late, 2009.、Mm-hmm. Did it for about a year, and then、uh, 2011, I had an opportunity to come to Twitter、right. and work on the Twitter for Android app. And、mm-hmm. at that time, it was a very small team of three. And I know them all. You, I, think, <laughs> I think you know them all as well, Sarah、yeah. and Jonathan. And、uh, at that time, the Twitter for Android app, we、mm-hmm. only had、um, very few number of users. So、right. being able to join the team at that time. And see the app grow to over hundreds of millions of、That's, users yeah, has been、exciting. really amazing. Yeah, cool.、Um, so we actually chat a little bit ahead of time to figure out what we want to talk about today.、Mm-hmm. And she said that gestures. So、yeah, I'll, I'll let her take it from there. I'm not quite sure what she wants to talk about in terms of gestures. Yeah. yeah. So、um, when Chuki reached out to me、uh, about doing this dialogue,、mm-hmm. she was like, "What sort of things do you want to talk about?" I'm like. Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, one of the biggest challenges that we had with、uh, the Periscope for Android app was、mm-hmm. gestures, and gestures are a way for you to、um, give unique experiences to your app and like really differentiate、um, them. And we had some interesting ways of doing it. And I guess I wanted to take the time here to、yeah. talk about some of those things. I feel like that's one of that. the things that. Really makes your app different because you know everybody has buttons, everybody have something you can type in,、uh, but like animations, gestures, that's kind of taking the game to the next level. Yeah,、so. yeah, definitely. We do have、um, beautiful animations,、right. our heart animations. Heart. I <laughs> gave a talk about that a couple of weeks ago, and、uh, Is that, that recorded. Went- It was not recorded.、Ah. It was Periscope, but unfortunately, Periscopes right now are only twenty four hours.、Right. So.、Um, If you didn't catch it during that time, I mean, too bad. But I think I might be trying to do that talk some other time. I know there was a lot of interest about yeah, animations yeah, and how we do it. Do it,、oh. record it so we can share with yeah, our viewers yeah, as well. I totally agree.、Cool. So we will take today to talk about gestures、mm-hmm. and some of our、uh, different gestures that we have in、yeah. the Periscope app. Sounds great. And so. Android out of the box gives you a lot of ways to handle gestures,、mm-hmm. and like if you have、uh, common gestures, there's、uh, a gesture detector that you can use.、Right. Um, so like long press is a standard、mm-hmm. one, double tap, and things like that. Yeah. So we use those in the app, but we also have some minor adjustments to them. And so let me just kind of roll it back a little bit. I guess the way those works is translating touch events、mm-hmm. into. So for example, what is a top double tap? It It's kind of、right. tricky to define. Yeah.、Like、what makes it a double tap versus a two single tap? So that's、okay. what the gesture detector、yeah. can help you with, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. Android's gesture detector,、um, the way they do is every touch,、um, every gesture starts with a down event, the、right. action down. Yes.、Uh, mm-hmm. And、uh, all gestures are captured in a motion event、uh, right. object, and those are passed down into a callback,、uh, like the on touch event callback. Right. So the way the Android gesture detector works is、um, when it detects that an action down event has happened, it will、uh, queue up a, a message、mm-hmm. for detecting like a long press or a double tap timeout, like what needs to happen in order for something to be a single tap. If the finger is lifted、mm-hmm. before like the double tap timeout it happens, then it's considered a single tap. So like there's a paired、um, action up event with an、right. action down event. So、um, The default
I'll give an example of one mm -hmm. of the gesture detections that we had to modify. Um, we noticed that the default uh, long press event is too long for us to oh, detect. Okay. Um, it's by default, it's like, uh, I think it was a 500 milliseconds okay. or something like that, which was way too long for us. So, so, so people don't actually press that long? For what we wanted to do, uh -huh. we didn't want it to be that long okay. because um, comparing the experience on our iOS app and the Android app, mm -hmm. it was too long for a long press to be detected on Android than on, Andro uh, on, on iOS. Wow. So um, Android, the framework provides this view configuration. Have you heard of view configuration? No. So view configuration gives you access to like system-defined constants for what is considered a default value for a long press or uh, how long uh, your touch slop should be for it to uh, before you detect the scroll has happened. Mm. So these are like out of the box and their Android gesture detector uh, uses these. Okay, that makes sense. But there's no way to actually override So you them. cannot just supply a new one to you, the gesture You can't. Oh. I, I want it to be able to override these view configurations like even in a theme or something to right. say like, I don't well, want 500, yeah. I want like 250 or whatever. But across the board. Across the board. There's yeah. no way to do it. So, so you copy and paste it. You the copy and paste <laughs> the gesture detector right. and you have a, a lame mm -hmm. message saying what you changed. You're like, right. the only thing oh, I changed yeah. in this class was these values. Constance. So yeah. um, that is that is one of the things that we did. Uh -huh. um, and that is actually in our replay scrubber. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you've actually ever used Periscope. But oh. well, so, I have watched it, but I have not. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll show you here anything. where we're actually using mm -hmm. uh, this gesture detection here. So here, mm -hmm. with the long press, that's here. The typical long press that you have is a lot uh, longer, and we wanted to enable the replay uh, mode mm -hmm. a lot faster. Okay. And then um, what we also did is we wanted to provide the haptic feedback as well oh, okay. because that doesn't come by default. Uh, in the simple um, gesture, detector. gesture detector, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that. So and basically, you long press and then you move your finger around. Yeah, and if you notice something here, mm -hmm. um, the actual. Let me let me do this with mm -hmm. my one finger here, and we'll, <laughs> we'll just start it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here, you'll notice that if I'm moving, mm -hmm. I'm actually pulling the bar towards Ooh. me, and this is actually a choice that we made that. Um, somewhat controversial because people uh -huh. are used to when they're um, the bar stays stationary. Well, yeah. the bar is stationary a lot of times, and uh -huh. then the seek, you know, you're moving right. this other uh, progress on top of it, uh -huh. and you're actually moving it forward. And what we're doing is we're pulling the bar. Oh, so the this effect way is the same. it's totally different because right. YouTube. If you're ever watching right. on YouTube, you're like moving it forward mm -hmm. that way. Interesting. Um, and the other thing here that we have is we have different controls here. So uh -huh. uh, you can pull it, you know, this way to go forward or backwards. Uh -huh. And then if you move it down, you oh. can adjust the different controls. So, so the we scale have, is different. Yeah, we have uh, half speed, mm -hmm. uh, quarter speed, and finer control. So now with this gesture here, this view here, we're doing gesture detection. Um, is scrolling happen vertically? Is whole scrolling happen horizontally? Mm -hmm. And then we have to uh, make adjustments here. And one of the key things, whenever you're dealing with scroll, you want to feel like the content is like anchored to um, the view here. So like, right. where if I'm moving this here, mm -hmm. this needs to be moving with me, right? Like yeah. at the same speed. So that's yeah. what we're doing here. So to track it. Yeah. So is that, um, are you moving the actual view or you're actually custom drawing the position? So this one here mm -hmm. is a custom progress bar that mm -hmm. we drew. Right. Um, and what we did on top of it is we drew segmented horizontal, uh, vertical segments right. to break it up. And then as things are moving, um, the bar has to be offset. So it's mm -hmm. offset from the screen. It's not drawn there. Interesting. And then the gesture detector act on the whole view. Yeah. Like the whole yeah. screen. The whole screen here. Uh -huh. And the thing that is also interesting is with this screen here, there's a lot of things that you can do. Mm -hmm. You can tap here to give a heart. Mm -hmm. That's a single tap gesture. Okay. But then, like, did you see that? Long press, yeah. It can actually enforce the replay scrubbing. So, like, how oh. do you know what the user intent is right. there? Are you trying to do a single tap? Mm -hmm. Or are you actually doing it longer? Exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we've actually had users write in.、Um, some people who are used to giving longer presses for their、mm-hmm. hearts, they're like, "I keep triggering the replay mode.、Right. I don't want and that." And how do we、yeah. adjust that? So there's some adjustments that we've had to do there. On this screen as well, we have、um, other gestures on the screen that we support are、mm-hmm. um, uh, swiping up、oh. to bring up the info panel. Interesting. Swiping that away,、uh-huh. and then、um, we want to be able to make sure we're also handling all the other events where the user may click on this. That is a, like a click listener here that's happening. Right.、Uh, the user is exiting out of here,、mm-hmm. and making sure that all these、uh, events can still happen. Like、right. the user intended to hit this instead of doing a long press. Like they can do a long、oh. press on the,、oh. the chat、okay. and still go in there. Um, I was not expecting that. I was expecting the click handler on the chat to to, to take consume、precedence. everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so the reason why, and we definitely played around with it, but、mm-hmm. we found that a lot of people who were using it, when they were trying to do replay, and then mode, something come up when there was a bunch of chats,、yeah. they they could the only way they could invoke it would be、Far、all the way, way over、uh, here. And so that's clumsy. That、yeah. was clumsy. And that's the whole thing about like gesture detection and user intent. Right. We're trying to balance and figure out what is really the user trying to do. If they're doing a long press, because there's no other long press、uh, gesture on this this、uh, activity itself.、Mm-hmm. It's only used here to invoke、uh, the replay, replay. here. Um. Though I do have a question though. Like, how do they know that they can long press to replay? Yeah, that's <laughs> a great question. So. At the start of every broadcast,、mm-hmm. like right when you go in and press play, uh-huh. Let's see. Let's hope this one loads here. Uh-huh. We do a press and hold the video to skip ahead. Oh.、Okay. So there's an info that's shown every time,、uh-huh. and then another thing we do is right when you enter a replay mode, we give you these on-screen controls、mm, to tell、nice. you how to seek or to do find code yeah, control. Yeah. That's a big problem with gestures. Yeah. Like, how do they know that you can see、right. to do things? Yeah, and yeah. that was the other thing. And then little indicators like here, this little white dot is、mm-hmm. to tell you where you started initially. Oh. So then, if you wanted to know how far from your initial start、right. that you're、uh, seeking to, then、uh-huh. you have that info. And the on-screen controls that we show there are time-based, so we only keep them on the screen for twenty seconds. Okay. But that's that. Yeah. Yeah, and so that that's the gestures that we have、mm-hmm. on just the when you're viewing, when you're broadcasting. There's actually a bunch of other ones here.、Um, I mentioned that、uh, broadcasting, you have to be able to.、Uh, let's do a dev broadcast here.、Mm-hmm. Bunch of controls. We need to be able to support double tapping to flip the camera,、mm. um, scaling,、uh, so zooming in and zooming out. Right. This is our lovely <laughs> new permissions.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It was great.、Mm-hmm. So here,、mm-hmm. um, can double tap or not? <laughs> or not? That oh, was the other okay.、Thing. Hi. <laughs> you can、so、swipe it's... down to bring down to. St- You know, there's playback controls here to、right. stop the control or、mm-hmm. flip the camera,、um, scaling,、mm-hmm. and we have a lot of、um, views inside this view group. And whenever you're dealing with touch events within、right. a view group, that's where it gets really tricky.、Mm-hmm. And Android provides a way for you to either intercept touch events、right. for your children, Just, yeah, or for the child to say. Don't touch any of my events. Like, and you have to know when to use、right. either of those.、Um, are you familiar with how those work at all? I have done the、um, intercept touch event. So I have done something which is the way I had it was I actually have a frame layout with a map inside,、mm-hmm. and I wanted to disable all gesture on the map、yep. until something else、yep. happened. So I just use the frame layout to eat up. Like I override on touch intercept event to、right. return true. I think true. Nice to say、yeah. that I have taken、yeah. care of it. Love, don't pass it on to my children.、Right. I haven't done the other way though. Okay. For the children to say, "Hey, don't don't tell me. Yeah. Like, don't mind event. My events are mine." Yeah. Okay. Cool.、But、yeah. Under what circumstances do you use that? So we were using、um, the map view is exactly what we're doing <laughs> in our map view on、uh, yeah. on this screen here. I see. And the, you're nodding. The reason why we actually do this here、mm. is、um, there's cases where. As the user is moving about the map here, we're、mm-hmm. making API calls、right. to our backend, 
And we're trying to distinguish between a time where a user is just, you know, scrolling the map versus when the map's actually settled.、Mm -hmm. And we also want to be able to bring up、um, a bottom sheet. Like what happens is if you click on a marker,、mm -hmm. we'll bring up a list of all the broadcasts here. Right. And we, anytime we're moving about the map, we want to hide that. And、right. that's like we're intercepting. The events, but we don't. We still allow the map view to consume it, but we want to have an opportunity to hide the sheet.、Ah. We also want to have an opportunity to clear our marker. So here we have a marker that's selected, and you you'll see it's like slightly the alphas right uh, light uh, here. It's、mm -hmm. not op、uh, fully opaque here.、Mm -hmm. And so the other thing is we want to if we're on the edge of the.、Um, Sometimes if we're on the edge of this view here,、right. we want to animate the the item into the screen.、Mm. So there's bounds here that we do some calculation as well. So when we're intercepting it, we're capturing the single tap up event、right. to store the、mm -hmm. motion event, and then use that later on to process、uh, a bunch of things. Yeah. Yeah. So the other case where we say request disallow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.、Um, I'll give you an example here.、Uh, when you're viewing a broadcast and、uh -huh. you're trying to look at this panel here,、um, this、uh, scrolling works well、uh, one way.、Right. We have a bug here、oh. where it won't scroll because, because you want to close the sheet. We want to actually scroll within、right. this view here, but the parent,、uh -huh. this is our root drive layout.、Right. He's taken all of them, and、yeah. we actually had a quick fix to say, okay, well, let's have when this panel is showing, let's say request. Uh, like don't, don't steal、parent. my event. Yeah. yeah.、Uh, but then there's some other wonkiness that we have to figure out <laughs> uh -huh. uh, because when that happens, then nothing else. Like it was really hard to dismiss the, the、right. panel because so, then then it's like okay, I'm not、yeah. gonna touch anything. Yeah. And you then... basically need to know when you're at the very top of the list to go ahead and allow the parent to、right. handle the、that、drag and stuff. Yeah. 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 So we have a drag layout here. We're、uh -huh. using, I think. Google has a root drag layout that we modified,、mm -hmm. and that's been great to、uh, drag items on and off the screen. Cool.、Like、yeah. Wow. Great. Yeah. That's actually a lot of. I feel like initially when you say gestures, I wasn't sure what you mean, but a lot of this is more like touch event handling. Yeah. Actually, translating touch events into actions that the user right. Do, yeah.、Um, but it's a gesture. Which is、yeah. a gesture.、Um, yeah. And like the there's really two phases to that really.、Um, Capturing like all the data, like figuring、mm -hmm. out, and then actually then interpreting it、right. and seeing what you、right. want to do with it. And once you decide that you want to handle that event, like、mm -hmm. you're gonna handle that action down and you're、right. returning true,、right. then all those events will get forwarded to you, and then、yeah. you can. Do something with it until you get the action up and action cancel. Right, that's actually an important point. If you are interested in the event, you have to return true、right. or down. Otherwise,、right. the system will just take a shortcut and say, "Okay, you don't care. I'm not going to tell you the move and the up." Right,、uh, right. Even though you you haven't handled it instantly, you haven't done anything yet, but like. The gesture when you have action down and you say return true, that means like, hey, sign me up. I want to know the rest of this series of touch events. Right. Yeah. I think that bit a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. that's that's really what is the key because what、uh, the Android framework is trying to do is find the deepest child that will handle the event. Right. And if everybody is saying return false,、uh -huh. then it's gonna just like keep going.、Mm -hmm. um, if somebody says return true early on, then I'll stop there and then continue to deliver the events at that point. Right. And what we're doing with the maps、mm -hmm. is we're really just spying on the events、yeah. in our on intercept touch event.、Right. We're actually returning false. Ah, but so we, like life goes on, but we、yeah. want that information. We want the information. That's、mm -hmm. why. And then、uh, we. Intercept it, and then we'll hide the bottom sheet as needed, or、right. do the calculate the balance to see if we want to actually make an API request and things、cool. like that. Yeah. Wow, great. Um, I think this is a really deep topic. Um, but we should stop about here. Otherwise,、okay. we'll just talk for two hours, <laughs>、yeah. and it'll be not bite size anymore. But um, if people want to follow you on the internet, um, I I, I assume the answer is Twitter, but I'm going to ask anyway. <laughs> Where can they find you on the internet? Um, it's definitely Twitter. You can、uh -huh. find me at Lian T M both on Twitter and Periscope. So、uh -huh. I Periscope not as frequently as I would like to,、okay. but. I am、um, slowly warming up to the idea of being in front of the camera more as as, as I am today. Yay!、Um, but definitely, Twitter is the way to find me. Cool.、Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It's been really fun. Okay, great. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye.